Hey guys, do you love vintage cars? I do, and I'm here at the Ford Farm Museum at Baylor Farm and I had a chat with the owner, Tony Prenichil. He started collecting Ford in the 70s and he will tell us more about his car collection. Look at the tires. I love the seats in this. Yeah. Yeah, no. I sold the car in 78. They found it in Adelaide two years ago. Oh. I spent five months restoring it back to this. Wow. That's all I have and I have to touch is this. Oh, wow. The pin, really? Them, the carpet, and this dash. The rest, we have had to fix. Mm. And chrome and chains. Yeah. And that's the original car in 73 when I bought it. I used to be a gambler. I went to Sydney. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I went to Sydney with $900 to give an idea. I paid for the Menzies Hotel, yep. five people. I came back, I, I brought this. He didn't want to sell it because I was just paid on the showcase. Yeah. In Parramatta, I was up on this flight. I got him booze that night, blowing his head off. I brought this for three and a half grand. I came home at the airport, he was 7,800 still in my pocket. Paid for this and the hotel. Wow. And I went over there with 900. So what's the oldest you have here? The oldest would be 1913, the Roadster, the one that won the um, first Sydney Rally, this one. Yeah. This one is the oldest, it won the Perth for Sydney Rally in 1979. Imagine driving this thing over, <laughs> over the Nullarbor. Windscreen wipers wouldn't work. There's the plaque for it here, around this side. Yeah. yeah. What's your plaque there? Unreal. These are the first IKEA. IKEA got their idea from Henry Ford. Yeah. You couldn't buy these cars, they're race cars. They sold you, gave you 14 wooden boxes in the chassis and said goodbye. <laughs> and this is a what new, see this, Washington? Yeah. Washington's Ford radiator. They wanted Washington as the capital of America. Mm -hmm. So they wanted their own identity, so Ford did this. You couldn't buy this car or this parts of cars anywhere except Washington. All out of Fords in England, America, everywhere else, yeah, Africa, right. they're all like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is unique for Washington. Thank you. That's my sense of humour. What? Halls Creek, the number plate. Mm -hmm. That's Halls Creek, if you know where that is. Yeah, yeah, right <laughs> <up London. laughs> So, which is special for you? Oh, pretty well all of them. That's 50 years of Ford, to give you an idea. Yep. See on the hubcap, 50 years of Ford. This is the anniversary model. 50 years, it's written on the general wall. Oh, okay. If you read that. Mm -hmm. So 1953, he started the first Ford in 1950, uh, 1903. This is the 50th anniversary. Ah, okay. And look at the doors, look at the condition. Better than your new car. Yeah, well, yeah. So this is a very rare car, it's 50 years anniversary car of Ford. Mm -hmm. And all the books, when it was sold new, this belonged to a policeman in Moggle Island, oh, just out yeah. of Brisbane. I flew over there and brought it, and he, that's his wife there crying. Yep. They put it on the boat and brought it into Brisbane, and I got it back here. Ah. That's it, at the wharf. Awesome. These are all the original books, when you buy it new, all the books. Oh, okay. This one is really nice also. See this here? Yep. Model. In 19... 
whatever the date is here. This is a real newspaper cutting. Yes. This is the early 60s anyway. Mm -hmm. See 15 cars fail in wild chase. Yep. A highly tuned custom line, right? And taxi drivers. The police couldn't catch us. Stage four. If you read that. Yeah. They couldn't catch it. One of these hotted up. How fast it is. Mm. Very rare. They're all race cars. Yeah. Wow, we love vintage cars. This is my favorite. <laughs> the Thunder, yeah. My yeah. granddaughter loves this one. Yeah. yeah. Do some people like hire from you, like this car? No, I don't. Oh, we do weddings for family. Yeah. I like this one too. The shop, so I went over to him, I jumped over here, I went over the road and I said, do you want to sell that car? And he said, no, it's one own from you, never be sold, go away. I gave my card anyway, luckily, five years later he passed away. His wife rang me, she said, can you remember a blue XK1960 Falcon? And I said, yes, I can actually, distinctively. She, my husband has passed away and I haven't got a driver's license. He told me if I die, I've got to sell it to you. Wow. Right? So I says, what do you want for it? She said, to be honest with you, I got Alex Lane, the Ford dealer in Mandra, to value it. He said it's worth $2,000. I said, all right, would you be happy with $2,500? This is a true story. It's the first woman that I've ever heard knock it back. You know what she said? No, I don't want $2,500. I only want the two grand what they valued it at. Ever. That's a true story. Mm -hmm. Unreal. Yeah. Actually, I'll tell a lie. Mine had the money. Oh, this one, no, it's just an extra. No, mine's a 60, 62. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you brought that, Swanee. There's one over there. On that table. Oh, yeah, yeah. On that shelf, there's one on the... Yeah, yeah. Front. yeah. This got all the extras in the booth. See, somebody broke that for me. That's an extra. Yeah. The heater. I took it all out and people fiddled with it. Yeah. Had the bar heaters. Oh. You all brought all that. Seat belts. We used to fit these when they were new, the blinders. Yeah, yeah, drill a hole through there and put a belt in it. Unreal, nice. Three rear really car. Yeah. Love it. This is my favourite in pilot. What? This is my favourite car here. Oh, it's my pilot. Long story. <laughs> Jimmy Matty used to drive a pilot for Barbagallo mm. when they had Newcastle Motors. I was their apprentice. Even Newcastle Street.